All right. Well, we're going to show you today how we uh, do some processing on our game meat out here in the field. And uh, we use what's called the gutless method, where we skin the whole hide up off of the elk, pull the quarters off, all the back straps, rib meat, everything comes off, neck meat, the whole works. We flop the skin back over, roll the elk over, repeat the process on the other side. You don't have to open up the body cavity, get into the guts or anything. It's a very clean method, keeps the meat clean. There's no exposure to the uh, insides of the elk with your meat. And it's uh, a clean process that, that works pretty quick. So we'll go through and show you how we're going to do that. We start over here on the hind quarter. We make an incision up the front of the leg into the belly, right across the middle of the belly here, and down the back of that leg. Just one big cut right across there. From there we skin everything up, put the hide over. That exposes the whole top side of the body of the elk right there. So we'll get started with that. It's great if you've got a buddy here to help to hold the leg up. You can get in there, get the skin off, pull it all away, and uh, get the meat cooled and in game bags quickly, which is the, the goal of game processing in the field. Start at the knee joint of the back leg and make an incision up the front of the leg to the belly. Continue along the belly up to the back side of the front shoulder. Then along the back of the front leg to the knee joint. Skin the hide off of the rear quarter. Continue skinning the rear quarter. If you're required to leave evidence of sex attached, plan ahead of time how you're going to do so. In this case, we will leave the testicles attached to the opposite quarter. With the hide off of the rear quarter, continue skinning the side of the elk working up to the front leg. Skin the hide off the front leg and past the knee joint. Now that you have the hide off of the front shoulder, it can be lifted off the entire side of the elk. The goal is to get the hide off the side of the elk all the way to the backbone. The best way to ensure the meat cools quickly is to get the hide off and expose the meat to the air as quickly as possible. making an incision up the brisket and continuing up the neck exposes the front of the shoulder as well as the neck meat. With the entire top side of the hide skinned off and the meat exposed, you're now ready to begin removing the quarters and placing the meat in game bag. With a game bag readily accessible, begin cutting along the inside of the quarter. You want to be careful here not to puncture the stomach. Locate the back edge of the pelvic bone and cut around it. Then continue along the edge like you're filleting a fish. That pop you heard was the ball socket where the leg bone attaches to the pelvis. It's important to locate and cut this joint, then continue cutting the meat off of the pelvic bone. Next, locate the hip bone and follow it, cutting down towards the pelvic joint. Next, cut a line along the hip bone and begin cutting the meat away from the hip bone from the top side. With your partner lifting up on the quarter, cut away the remaining meat until the quarter comes free. Place the game bag in a shady area 
where the air can circulate around the meat for quick cooling. Next, move up to the front shoulder and make a guide cut around the shoulder blade. Now lift up the leg to expose the underside of the shoulder and cut along the ribs to detach the quarter. A good quality game bag, like those made by Alaska Game Bags, keeps the dirt and the flies off of the meat, fits tightly without tearing, and breathes to allow the meat to cool quickly. Yeah. With your finger, locate the back strap. Cut along the bottom side of the back strap, slowly removing the meat from the top side of the ribs. Now make an incision on the top side of the back strap, removing it from the backbone. Here make a small hole to give yourself a finger hold. Then fillet the meat off of the backbone to the point where it attaches to the neck. Now begin removing the neck meat. Each muscle group can be removed individually, allowing the meat to cool quickly. At this point, continue removing as much of the meat as possible from the ribs and the neck.
Now that we're finished with the neck and ribs, don't forget to remove the brisket from the underside of the chest. The last step is to remove the tenderloin. The tenderloin lies against the underside of the backbone just in front of the hip bone. Make a shallow incision along the backbone to expose the tenderloin, taking care not to puncture the stomach. Locate the front end of the tenderloin and cut it loose. Next, gently massage the loin away from the backbone and then cut the opposite end loose. Now that you've made room, use your knife to cut the loin from the backbone. To protect the meat on the opposite side, roll the hide back up onto the elk. Now position the head to allow the body to be rolled over. Now with the bull flipped over, we're ready to start the second side. Repeat the exact same process as the first side. When you're done, the whole hide will come off. You cut it behind the head, cut the head off, you're ready to pack it out. The process is done, we're ready to load them up on the pack frames now. You can see we use six game bags on this one. Five typically works just fine, but we had an extra game bag, so we separated the burger meat from the tenderloins and the back straps. And got quarters in the other four, and we're ready to put them on the pack frames and start the hike out of here.